do you want the data you add to a Google Sheets file automatically added to a Google Slides presentation? Find out how in this video. In our Google Sheets file, where every month we add our new revenue, we are going to add a script and head over to the script editor, rename the function to on open and also go ahead and add a project title. This is totally up to your liking. I'm going to name it the way the presentation is named. The on open function is for making a menu item available, the revenue report, and that will then generate our report. And here what we're doing is we're getting from the spreadsheet app, our UI, and we're creating this custom menu. We're calling it revenue report. And then we're adding an item to it. And we're naming that item. And this again is up to your liking. I just named this generate report and it will be calling the following function current month. So we already know that we have to create that function. And then we finish this off by adding it to the user interface. Now we're creating the current month function. That is exactly the function that gets triggered when we click on generate report in the menu. We're accessing our currently active spreadsheet and saving it to sheet. And we're being very specific here by getting the sheet by its name. So in case it would be multiple sheets here, we're getting the monthly revenue sheet and we're accessing it by its name. After that, we are getting our data and that we do by saying from that sheet, get the data range that gets the whole range that somehow contains data in itself. And we're getting the values from those or from that range. Then we're calling shift method. This is a default JavaScript method just to do away with the header row, which we won't be needing for our processing. Then we're creating a variable, an object of month, because that we will then be using in another function. This is a private function that we're calling and we're passing in as parameters our data, so all of our values, and that object, that empty object we've created, the current month. The current month status function checks to see if for that month there has already been a report generated. In that case, head on to the next month. And the way we're doing that is that we're checking for our data if there's some, so the first row or the first entry that meets the following condition, give me that back and stop executing whatever you're doing. So in this case, we're checking for row per row if the month, and here we're explicitly accessing the last column in our data range. So if the value of that month equals nothing or false, in this case, just doesn't have a value, then get that object, that current month object, and in the index, save the index. So in the first iteration, that would be zero. And in the data of that current month object, please save the month. So that's going to be the entire row, the all of the revenue and the grand total. And return that month, that object, because we then need that information. So which row it is, um, and also what the, the data itself is. So the revenue stats so that we can create our slides, but also then check the box add a checkbox and check it so that we do not generate that month again. So on to the next to the create slide function, which we're defining here. And you might have noticed that on line 15, we're saying current month, the data. So from that object, we will be passing down only the data, but in the create slide function, while I'm defining it, I'm only saying current month as parameter, because that's just a placeholder that could be named anything. What's important is what I'm passing when I'm calling that function. 
So we have our presentation, which is our slides app, and we will be opening, opening it by the URL. And this means I have to go and get the new URL from over here. So this is our document where we want every time that we click on the um, report button that a new slide is added with our new revenue for that month. So that is the URL we need. And now we need to get the template slide. So this is a slide that I have prepared. I've hidden it from the presentation. So when we're in presenting mode, we don't see it, but it's here. And what we're doing here is we're getting the ID of this slide because we always want to use this specific slide. We're getting it and then we're creating a new slide variable because we will be copying or in this case using the duplicate method. So duplicating this template slide. So for every month it will make a new duplicate. And then we're saying set skipped as false because I don't want that new month to be skipped. I only want the template to be skipped. And I'm using that method for it and just passing in false to unskip it, so to speak. And now, um, the maybe a bit tedious part of the script starts because we need to go and get all of our text that needs to be replaced. So I've added tem uh, not templates, I've added a placeholder, so to speak. So text that is uh, in double curly brackets and I will be replacing that with the actual data from Google Sheets. And what I'm doing now is I'm being efficient. I'm just going ahead and copying all of this instead of me writing it out five or six times. And now I'm checking for, okay, what are the placeholders month, then um, north, east, southwest, and the total. So that's what I'm adding here, month zero position because in our row in the first position will be the name of the month. Then the stats for the north region, the stats for the east region, the south region. And if you're wondering why I start with current month at zero, it's because arrays, the index starts at zero. Computers start counting at zero, we humans start counting at one and the total month as the last thing. Let me explain what we're doing here. So you see the way that we get the data is in current month in the zeroth index is the month and then in the first region north and so on and so forth. So this is the way the data looks that we're retrieving from this Google Sheets file. And if we have a look at our presentation, I've mapped out our data with the placeholder. So the current month at the zeroth position in the array will be January and that will replace that placeholder of month and so on and so forth. So that is what I did in the last function. The last step is to make sure that a month only generates one new slide. So we're creating a mark as generated function and we're passing in obviously our sheet but also the index property of our current month object in the first um, case in an array it will be zero one and so on and so forth so that is to identify on which row we are because that we need when we're adding our checkbox and note how here the parameter name is current month index because again this is just a placeholder and I'm then passing in the object, the property of index of that object. I'm saving the index number plus two under the variable or to the variable of row. That is because we don't have a header and arranged arrays start at zero, not at one. And get range row needs a number. So in this case, um, whatever is in current month index plus two, and the seventh column, we will be inserting a checkbox and we will be also marking that as checked. We save the entire script. We're going to load the on open function. So when we go back into our Google Sheets, we should see a revenue report custom menu. 
and then we can run the generate report from the first time in the Google Sheets, mimicking what the user would really do. Here, this is standard procedure. We have to grant the script access, otherwise it won't run. So everything looks okay. There you go, revenue report. Let's add, let's say the April revenue data. I just went ahead and copied that from another sheet and pasted it here. And now we're gonna run our revenue report. So mimicking what um, the chief, chief of sales would do. And automatically we see a checkbox has been added. And when we head over into our presentation, there you go. We have an April slide. Um, again, just copying data from another sheet off screen and pasting it in here. There you go, the month of May. Let's click on generate report again. And same procedure, we see the checkbox appears. And when we head over into our presentation, we see that a new month has been added, May, April, March, and so on. So that is how the automation script works. Let's add another month. Again, I'm copying data and pasting it. And while you're watching me, why don't you go ahead and think of how you use Google Apps Script to automate or what for automation scripts you could imagine using and let us know in the comment section below. And since you're already here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of these automation scripts.